All right, when you fix your Shopify site speed, you need to look at Cumulative Layout Shift, or CLS. Improving your site speed and thus your user experience and thus making more money, it's really important that you understand this metric and that you solve it. That's what we're gonna do in the next 30 seconds. So first of all, what is Cumulative Layout Shift? Well, it's pretty straightforward. CLS is a formula that Google uses to calculate how much stuff on your web page moves after it gets loaded initially. Let me show you an example. It's gonna make more sense. Ever been on an e-commerce site where you had this experience before? You wanted to click on the below button, but suddenly everything shifts and you're buying it. Obviously, this is bad user experience and these things are all over the internet. So Google found a way how to measure this and to have this reflected into your PageSpeed Inside report so that it can affect your ranking on SEO and much more things across the web. Now, first of all, what do I need to aim for as a good CLS score? The CLS score will be between zero and one and the lower the number, the better you're doing. It's kind of like playing golf. Now at this part, you might wonder, okay, and how does it get calculated? Because I have this tiny little thing that moves a tiny little bit, am I screwed? Well, no, actually, you're not screwed. And I'm not gonna go into the very technical details of this, but Google is playing into encounter two elements. One, how big the element is that's moving. And second of all, how much movement the element is doing. So let's say if you have your big, big, big banner image that's moving all the way down, that's bad. But if you have a tiny little thing on your website that's just moving a little bit, all right, not the end of the world. So the important thing when optimizing for CLS is to make sure that the big elements on your screen that you see when you load your page move almost zero to a tiny, tiny bit. So I'm talking about the banner images, the buttons, all of those big sections. If they move, ice no bueno. So you might be thinking right now, hey, Andrew, I have this banner at the very top that with a promotion that appears after the layout that kind of pushes my entire web page down. Yeah, yeah, that's not ideal. Everything that pushes stuff down, not ideal. Everything that can result into this, not good. I hope this makes sense. If you're looking for an expert to do your page speed optimization, check out ecomexperts.io. It's the only thing we do, Shopify side speed optimization, and I'll see you soon. Ciao.